In this video, we'll learn how to group vector shapes in Illustrator. Grouping lets us combine multiple vector shapes so they act as one single unit. This is a fundamental editing skill that can go a long way towards helping manage complex files, and it makes styling and editing your compositions much more convenient. To practice grouping, I've got the file groupingdemo.ai open from this week's demo files. And here I have the start of a composition so far, it's just a handful of shapes, but I'm already at a point where I want to start moving and editing some of those shapes together rather than one at a time. So an example of that are the shapes in this shore layer where I have one shape for the sand and one shape for the water. I really like how these look in proportion to one another, but I'd like to maybe move them around the composition or scale them up or down together. Now, I could do that in the document window by clicking with the selection tool on one shape, then shift clicking on the other. Or in the layer menu, I could target the layer itself, which would then select the components of that layer, so both the water and the sand. And that would allow me to say scale up or down both shapes at the same time. And I'll just go ahead and hit Command Z to undo that. So either of those techniques will work, but if I'm doing lots of little adjustments, or if I'm dealing with really any more than two shapes, it's gonna get really inconvenient to have to either shift click on everything in the layer or go up to the layers panel and target everything. So what I'd like to do here is to group together the water and the sand shape. So I'll go ahead and select those two shapes. Then I'll click object group from the menu bar. I could also do this with the keyboard shortcut of Command-G on Mac or Control-G on Windows. Now I can much more easily click with the selection tool on either shape and have both of those selected at the same time. Notice in the Layers panel, under that shore layer, rather than my two separate shapes, I now have this group. So the group is kind of like a sub-layer of my main shore layer, and I can rename it just by double-clicking if I want to. And inside that group, I still have the original shapes, which I can see if I expand the group by clicking on the caret icon next to it. This is one of the really great things about grouping. We can treat a set of objects as though they were one, but they still stay independent of each other. So I have the option to make edits to either shape by targeting it individually in the layers panel rather than the whole group. Now, of course, this is a very simple example where we're just grouping together two shapes that happen to already be in the same layer with each other. But it's important to be aware that when you group shapes together, they may potentially get moved around in the stacking order. Let's see an example of that, where we select that group we just made, and I'd like to shift select this rectangle that's in the sky layer. So I'd like to add this rectangle to my group, but since it's in a different layer, Illustrator will have to move it into the shore layer since that's the topmost layer in all of the shapes that I have selected. So let's go back up to the menu bar and click Object Group. And now I can see inside the group I just made, I have a subgroup, which was my original group of just the water and the sand. And then I have the rectangle. So this shows us two really important things. Not only can groups nest inside of other groups, but sometimes when we group objects, we'll be moving things around in the stacking order. So pay attention to how that's gonna happen so you don't end up messing up your zones of recession. If we wanted to ungroup a set of objects, we'd simply select the group. So in this case, I'll select this outer group. Then from the object menu, click on ungroup. We could also do this with a keyboard shortcut of Command-Shift-G in Mac or Control-Shift-G in Windows. So broken down that main group into the original group and the sky layer. So I could break down that subgroup by selecting it, then clicking Object Ungroup from the menu bar again. And now I'm back to all of my original shapes, and I could just click and drag that rectangle back to the sky layer. Okay, that's an overview of how to group vector shapes in Illustrator.